Hello and thank you so much for your interest in our real estate sales tracker. This is the tutorial on how this spreadsheet works. So first of all, we are on the dashboard tab and this is going to show you everything that is going on in your sales tracker tab. Um, everything on this section here will tally up automatically based on everything from the sales tracker tab. So starting here, we have the total number of customers that you have. This is the total number of sales that you've won for the year. This is the quantity dollar amount of sales that you've had for the year. This is your total commission made, which tallies up automatically on the spreadsheet. This is your percent sales per quarter, and you can move your mouse over this and see your sales. If you wanted to change the colors, you can edit the chart. Go to customize pie slice and in there you can change colors by hitting the plus sign and then you can change the color if you want. Commission earned per quarter. So this will show you how much money you've made per quarter. And then commission earned per month. It'll show you how much commission you've earned in each month. And this will change, of course, as you change everything in the sales tracker. This is your to-do list. So if you have anything that you can, that's super important, you can write this on your to-do list here. Okay, the sales tracker tab, we're going to click here. And this is from beginning to end um, notes that you can make about your sales. So we will just start on number two. So you can write, you know, you can change that number if you want. So we'll write two, client's name, property address, which quarter you're in, the source that you found the client, phone, Facebook, website, networking, referral, or flyer, the status, if the client is in not contacted, contacted, awaiting response, needs follow-up, they have a showing, a negotiation, pending, won, or lost. If there's a to-do, you can write done or to-do. Closing date scheduled. You can click in here and it will show you the date. The next is list price. So say we've got the property listed for, uh, let's say 500,000. Your possible commission is listed here. So the list price times your commission rate will be the possible commission. Now um, this uh, commission earned does not populate until you actually have sold the property. So that way when you know that you've listed it, you know, hey, I could possibly make 30,000 on the, the property when it sells. Now you can change your commission rate here. So if you get 5% commission, then your possible commission would be 25,000. Now your sold price, so say we actually have it sold for, say it sells for 450. Now you've actually earned 22,500. Um, now this also will change. Um, your total commission earned will be here. The total sold price will be here. And then your total commission earned will also change um, here on the very front tab. Now the next column here is whether or not closing is complete. Keys transferred. Lock box and signs, commission paid, thank you sent, and then this is post closing, social media post, and then notes. So that is it for the sales tracker. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank